Hello everyone, I am Ajay. Welcome to Online Cap Journey Training. Today we want to discuss some of the Cap Journey pseudocode based previous year questions. So, coming to the first question for today. What will the output of the following pseudocode? Okay, read integer j equal to 41. Okay, let's write it down. j equal to 41, k equal to 37. Right? j equal to j plus 1. So, 41 became 42 here. k equal to k minus 1. 37 became 38 here. Sorry, 36 minus 1 j equal to j divided by k j equal to j divided by k j divided by k means 42 divided by 36 so whenever you are seeing this uh, for the pseudo course it's like integer division so definitely j will result in 1 because it's 1 point something so in the integer division j becomes 1 so j value is 1 next k equal to k divided by j k divided by j means uh, 36 divided by 1 that is 36 only print k comma j 36 comma uh, what is j 1 36 comma 1 is option b so option b is the correct answer for this come to the next question mm, okay again output int a equal to 0 b equal to 1 c equal to 2 uh, a plus 1 equal to equal to 1 a plus 1 equal to 0 plus 1 is 1 1 equal to equal to 1 is true true means uh, this is called a uh, conditional operation that is called also called a standard operation where uh, we have something like condition here and uh, question mark true colon false which means if this condition becomes true then the truth the whatever the logic or whatever the statements whatever the value present in here will be executed if this condition result in false then this will be executed so same here this is the condition this is a true value this is a false value and here we have a plus 1 equal to equal to 1 so 1 equal to equal to 1 yes true so true means ampersand b so it's like star ampersand b equal to a colon b colon c uh, star of ampersand a this is 1 1 is zero, not equal to 0 because a is 0 and b is 1 so both are not equal so the false false one that is c will be executed and you, here you can observe that is here we are using ampersand b so whatever the c value here it will be copied to b so the c value is copied to b so c value is 2 previously so it will be copied to b so b becomes true so when we print print f of um, percent l percent d a comma b comma c a comma b comma c means 0 2 2 0 2 2 option c is the correct answer for this come to the next question for today s1 equal to 3 okay e1 equal to 6 okay it's a recursive let's uh, rather 3 num of 3 comma 6 okay and if s1 equal to equal to e1 s1 is 3 e1 is 6 3 equal to equal to so no so i return s1 plus num s1 is uh, 3 plus mm, 3 plus num of 4 comma 6 same way again here we are checking if s1 equal to equal to e1 no this is not possible so else part which is s1 s1 here is 4 4 plus num num of s1 plus e1 s1 is s1 plus 1 is 4 plus 1 5 5 comma 6 okay again here checking s1 equal to equal to e1 no so this is uh, this will not execute else part s1 s1 is 5 and uh, again num of s1 plus 1 6 comma 6 here we are checking uh, if s1 equal to equal to e1 yes 6 equal to equal to e1 so we are returning s1 return s1 which is written 6 so this will return 6 so this will return 6 this complete function will return 6 so 5 plus 6 is 11 so this complete uh, block will return 11 which means this function 4 plus 1 5 so this complete block um sorry i said 5 plus 6 uh, 11 right okay 4 plus 11 is 15 so this complete block will return as 15 and in 15 so this 15 will be written to this function so this function will return as 15 and we have plus 3 3 plus 15 is 18 so this complete block will return as 80 that is num of 3 comma 6 so num of 3 comma 6 is equal to 18 uh, option c 18 is the correct answer
time to the next question okay mm. hello in towards zero okay we have again a recursion here so let's draw the tree hello hello world what is world uh, world is 181 okay 181 and we have initialized zero a variable equal to zero and uh, remind me i'm taking a reminder for here so there is no initializing for this just rem while world not equal uh, this symbol is uh, indicates us not equal to uh, in pseudocode this is equal, double equal to for comparison and this means not equal to so world not equal to zero world not equal to zero yes 181 is not equal to zero then remind equal to world percentile 10 remind equal to world percentile 181 181 percentile 10 which is 1 so remind equal to 1 0 equal to 0 into 10 plus remind me 0 into 10 means uh, 0 value is previously 0 0 into 10 is 0 0 plus remind remind is 1 so this becomes 1 here okay and again hello 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 181 divided by 10 180 divided by 10 individual division 18 18 will come and in, the, in again in the 18 we have remind equal world percentile 10 world percentile 10 is um, Ten means it's like uh, one percentile ten eight yeah so this becomes eight now because uh, we will ten divided by ten so ten ones are ten so only eight will be remaining the remainder is ten so remainder is eight here we have reminder zero equal to zero into ten plus remind zero into ten means one one into ten is ten ten plus is eighteen so this becomes eighteen here okay and again hello world divided by ten that is one we are checking world not equal to zero yes it's not equal to zero remind equal to world percentile 10 world percentile 1 percentile 10 is 1 here 0 equal to 0 into 10 uh, 18 into 10 is 180 180 plus 1 is 181 0 equal to 181 and hello equal to world by 10 hello world by 10 means 0 hello 0 here in this case world is equal to 0 so this loop breaks end while write 0 so write 0 means we need to print the 0 in the print the 0 the latest value of uh, 0 is 181 so option b is the correct answer for this come to the next question okay there are a lot of variables mm, you need to find the output of the pseudocode okay n1 n2 n3 n4 n5 we have n values on average of that okay so we are checking if n1 is less than n2 else else okay these two are one pair that is if else and this is this if a single if so if else n less than n1 less than equal to n2 9 less than equal to 322 no uh, yeah it's less than so max equal to 9, n2 so we have a variable max max equal to n2 and 2 value is 322 uh, as this condition side is we don't need to check or uh, check for this condition else part if n3 greater than max n3 is 798 798 greater than 322 yes so max set to n3 n3 means uh, 798 okay if n4 greater than max n4 is 789 789 greater than 798 no so next condition if n5 greater than max n5 is 987 yes so set max equal to n5 max equal to 987 write max write max means print max 987 means option b okay okay maybe there is some printing mistake yeah so option b c anything that is 987 is the correct answer for this what is the output of the following pseudocode okay mm, okay this number seven and it's not not fine okay let me tell you this while of any number one minus one two three anything this will take while loop condition as true and only when while in the condition we have zero or false some boolean value then this condition takes as uh, false so here we have 7 7 means a positive value so while we take this as true so nothing but while of not of not of true so not of true means false and not of false means true so because of not not this again becomes while while of true while of true so while of true right here okay and next condition again while of true right here while of true right here so this will again uh, repeat continuously so this loop will go for infinite so this option c is the correct answer that is infinite loop
come to the next guy here what is the output of the following pseudocode okay integer i to 1 okay the i is not declared correctly here so switch off i case i right uh, so i is probably not declared and we are using i i plus 1 i plus 2 so you can directly check for the error so i is not suitable not usable so option e is the correct answer for seventh question next question what will the output of the following pseudocode switch 3 by 3 switch 3 by 3 is uh, 1 so switch off 1 switch off 1 is right case 1 executed okay so case 1 executed will be printed option b so if you check the option b this is wrong because there is no break for this case when there is no break it will even execute the uh, next case uh, statements as well so there is no break for the case 1 so it will print the case 2 as well right case to execute it so option c is the correct this condition where we don't mention break and because of the other cases even execute this is termed as switch fall through and uh, the, you just need to remember this even this can be asked in any of the interview where interview can ask what is switch fall through you can you can say that whenever we forget to mention break or if we didn't mention break not only that case even the the cases below that will also be executed uh, wherever it gets satisfied so this condition is called switch fall through and because of this condition you also get the case to um, statement so option c is the correct case one executed and case two executed ninth question read i equals 25 if i equals 25 yes i equal to 50 okay previously i equal to 25 because of condition i became 50 here now uh, if i equal to 25 no so this is the else part for this so so it's basically like if i equal to equal to 25 i equal to uh, 50 and um if i equals equals 25 add 1 to i and the else part for this and else part for this so i equal to 50 and i is equal to equal to 25 no this is not equal so else part add 2 to i add 2 to i add 2 to i means uh, 2 to i means 50 plus 2 52 so i equal to 52 option c is the correct answer come to the last question for today uh, what is the output of the following pseudocode okay okay we have certain variables false is equal to minus 1 null as 0 true as 1 okay and as i said uh, in any loop or any condition only zero or false it means uh, it's a negative condition that means uh, the condition will, uh, be, will break or will, uh, will treat it as false but any condition minus one minus two one two three any of the condition it will treat it as false sorry it, it treated as true so here we have if of null if of null means if of zero if of zero is false so, we, so this statement will not be executed else if of false else if of false false means minus one minus one is treated as one of the non-zero value so non-zero value means that the condition satisfies this becomes true right true so there is no need to check the else part because we else else if part is executed option a is the correct answer for this question um, that's it for this video all the best thank you